Well, hello everyone. Welcome to the May 12th um, edition of the Manfred Olson Planetarium Virtual Stargazing. My name is Kieran Arnold. I am a UWM Manfred Olson Planetarium presenter. And today we are in for a little treat. Today I will be showing you what a sky looks like today, May 12th, uh, 2020, in a sky in Sydney, Australia. So if you were in Sydney, Australia, maybe, you know, just outside the city in an area where it's dark enough, you might see a sky like this. Uh, in the middle of Sydney, there's no way you're going to be able to see a sky this dark. But if you go to, I don't know, maybe the suburbs of Sydney or outside of Sydney, you would see a sky like this. All right. So this is one thing that's different about this versus Milwaukee is that we are in the southern hemisphere. We are very far south. Um, I think Sydney, don't quote me on this, I think Sydney is like 33 degrees south, I believe, or something like that. Uh, but this is a interesting thing because the seasons on the planet Earth are switched. So the northern hemisphere right now, we are in May, so right now we are entering our summer. Right now, Sydney, Australia is entering their winter. So that's one thing that's interesting. And one thing that we do know from our latitude in Milwaukee and in the Northern Hemisphere is that the constellation of, o of Orion is a very prominent winter constellation, probably the most recognizable. I'll point it out to you here in Sydney, Australia. Here are what we would think of as the two shoulders of Orion. Here's Betelgeuse, one of his shoulders. Here's Bellatrex. Here's the belt of Orion. Here is Rigel. Very, very prominent bright star. Here's his other knee. So Rigel and this other star make up his knees. And Orion is holding up a shield because he's afraid of the bull next door. Here is Taurus, the bull. And Aldebaran is this uh, bright red star here. Aldebaran means the follower because the Pleiades right here, the seven sisters, are following it, or I'm sorry, he is following them. You might know the Pleiades, uh, the Japanese name for the Pleiades is Subaru. So if you ever heard of the car company Subaru, if you look at their emblem, this constellation is on it. All right, we can also see in this frame here, we can also see the brightest star in the night sky, which is Sirius. So there we have Sirius. And because we're in the Southern Hemisphere, there's a few, a few astronomical goodies that um, we don't get to see. There's a few stars here. Uh, Famalhaut is this star here. Um, some things we don't really get to see from our latitude nearly at all. Um, Canopus right here, this star. A uh, couple, there are three planets that we can see right now. Very conveniently, Jupiter and Saturn are directly next to each other right here. Um, I'll zoom in on them. I'll zoom in on each of them so we can get a good look at them. When I zoom in on Jupiter, you'll be able to start to see Jupiter's moons. Uh, these are the very prominent moons. These are all the, Gal the Galilean moons. So we have um, Ganymede, Callisto, Europa. Io. So there we have Jupiter. And we can also look at Saturn too. So if I zoom in on Saturn, you can see some of the very prominent moons of Saturn. You can see the rings of Saturn right here, and you can see Titan, uh, Hyperion, all the goodies. And up here, way up high in the sky, we have the planet Mars. Uh, Mars is not nearly as big as Jupiter and Saturn, but it is closer. Zoom in on Mars. There we have Mars in kind of a gibbous phase, and we can see the two moons of Mars, Den uh, Denimos and Phobos. Mars is moving pretty fast there. So we've got all of that. And actually, if we're talking about deep sky objects, uh, the planet Uranus or Uranus is also visible. 
you would need a pretty good telescope to be able to see this, but with this uh, Stellarium program, I can just easily zoom in and show you what these look like. So here we have uh, Uranus and all of its moons, or some of its most prominent moons. Something that's kind of a tree we don't get to see very often. All right, let's see. Let us see here. Um, I can kind of give you a, a good send off by showing you the Pleiades or the Seven Sisters. A very, very beautiful um, patch of sky. A lot of uh, Native American peoples referred to this as a hole in the sky. And it's a very, very beautiful area of the sky. And there are these. You know, if you kind of squint, if you have a pair of binoculars, you can really get a beautiful view of this if the sky is dark enough. But it's kind of like, I like to refer to it as like a mini, mini dipper. All right. So, I'd like to thank you all for watching once again. And uh, we will see you next time. Thanks for watching.